By the end of this video, you're gonna know what's the best business model to start in solar in 2023. Hey, welcome guys back to another video on the channel. If you are a business owner who's looking to make a transition into solar, because you know how straightforward and lucrative the solar industry is, or you're simply somebody who has a nine to five and you're looking for a way out, this video will help you a ton. There's three main business models in solar, and we're gonna talk about the pros and cons in each and every single one of them. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know the best possible one for you to start. The first business model is the EPC, or the solar installer. The solar installer is the company that carries out the work. It is the company that actually deals with the installation of the solar system. Most of the time, they're not the sales company, they just carry out the work. They do the installs. So the installer is the company that actually has all the licensing. Any other business model within solar, does not need to have any licensing at all. They need to have the licensing for installing solar in each and every single state. And the rules and regulations in each and every single state obviously are different. So the install is usually the company that deals directly with the homeowner. They do all the site surveying prior to installing the system. They do carry out the work. They source the panels. They are the company that deals with the financing companies, okay? So if any of you are watching this video, you guys have no clue what I'm talking about. Usually, solar in the United States is sold through a loan. Very few people do cash deals. And a lot of people are starting to do leases, but usually the premise of solar is to swap their existing utility bill that they pay for electricity, and whatnot and swap it with a cheaper solar payment throughout a period of let's say anywhere between 15 to about 25 years and that protects the homeowner from utility rate increases and inflation in the long run and because the installer is the company that deals with the homeowner directly they're the one that have the licensing and they're also the company that bears with the liability which means Whatever happens to the consumer or the homeowner, for example, if the crew happens to break somebody's roof, the company installing the panels is responsible. Nobody else in the process is responsible other than the installer or the EPC. So they're the one with the licensing, with the liability, with the communication to the homeowner throughout the process. Now, the good thing about being an installer is that an installer can work with multiple sales orgs, which is what we're gonna talk about next. They work with multiple sales org or 1099 sales reps, and that's their primary way of sourcing new deals. Most of the time, an installer will not have an internal sales team so that they're not competing directly with the sales org or sales orgs that are sending them deals. So I would say it's becoming tougher and tougher to become an installer because you need to go through the process of getting licensed. You need to go through a ton of rules and regulations, a ton of documentation, and it's becoming very, very difficult to do that. Plus, you got to manage a bunch of people that are carrying out the work on a daily basis. Plus the installer is not that flexible and they cannot change locations very easily because they have a set crew that can service a specific area. Now the second way you can make money in solar is by being what is called a dealer. A dealer could be a sales organization or a 1099 individual sales rep that works for themselves. Now, the difference between those, the one guy is a one man show and the sales work has a multiple person sales team and how it works is that the dealer stands in between the homeowner that wants to go solar and the epc which is the installer so it's kind of like in a real estate deal you have a broker or you have a real estate agent you have a buyer on one side and you have a seller on the other and the broker in the middle the real estate agent it's what makes the deal happen. That's kind of like what a dealer is in solar. So if you're getting confused, that's what it is. Now, the great thing about solar now is that it is unregulated, which means anybody can become a solar dealer. Anybody can start selling solar in a snap of a finger. If you want to be an EPC, which is the previous business model we looked at, it is not that simple. It takes weeks upon weeks upon months to get all the licensing and everything that you need in order to operate as an installer. The dealer, on the other hand, all you need to do, you need to make sure that you know how to source yourself, how to find leads and how to sell. 
That's literally it. And once again, the reason why I love solar so much is because it is such a straightforward model. The numbers either make sense to the homeowner or they don't. There's no hard selling. There's no convincing. It is as simple as, Hey, Mr. Customer, your bill right now is $350 a month. Would you like to have it at $275 per month? And once you've laid out the options to the homeowner, like it is, which is Mr. Customer, we're going to protect you from utility rate increases from inflation. We're going to show you how to compare apples to apples. That is literally the whole premise of the entire pitch you cannot sell a solar system unless it makes sense for the homeowner you cannot do that and that is why solar is such an easy sale now another great thing about being a dealer is that unlike the epc model the dealer can change markets in an instant they can decide that california is no longer the best state to sell solar in and so we're gonna move somewhere else where the competition in solar is not as high where we can sell deals much easily where we can make a lot more money and save the homeowner a lot more on their monthly utility bill and so that allows you to be extremely flexible and you're not bound to any market or state in the country, especially if you know how to generate leads and sell over the phone, which is what we teach. So again, being a dealer and using the dealer model to make money in solar gives you a lot of flexibility, allows you to scale the business much faster, and you don't have to deal with any licensing or any liability for that matter. Now, the third and final way to make money in solar is by being a sub dealer or a master dealer a sub dealer is somebody who basically goes underneath the installer and they onboard companies or sales reps that want to get a better red line for example if you already have a great installer and you'd like to start sending them more deals and you'd like to offer that opportunity to other individual people or companies to be able to work with your installer you could simply make a small override on every single deal that they put through you and a lot of people that are dealers in the solar industry also become a sub dealer for other companies because they're the company that deals with all the communication between the installer and the dealer as a dealer you could also become a sub dealer and if you happen to onboard a bunch of different companies or individual reps what happens is you cumulative amount of sales that you do per month or per quarter you can negotiate the original deal that you have with your installer to lower your base red line for installation and that way everyone benefits and everyone gets cheaper installs as a whole so it's an incredible win-win situation so if you ask me what is the best business model you could possibly start in solar in 2023 hands down wholeheartedly i would tell you that is by being a dealer because of all the reasons i already mentioned you have no liability you have all the flexibility in the world to sell from whatever you want. You can start doing this immediately. You do not need any licensing or anything at all to start with this business model. And your only job is to find homeowners that are interested in going solar and simply showing them the numbers. And especially if you pay attention and you know the best markets to sell solar in, you can make between eight and $9,000 per sale. Oh, and did I mention you actually help people and like, many other scumbag industries that you don't even believe in the product that you're selling so if you're still watching this video and you're interested to find out what are the best markets to sell solar in how to sell solar remotely how to work from anywhere in the world how to transition from any industry to solar and get on the straight path to success making the amount of money that you never thought possible while helping the planet and homeowners save money then here's my proposition to you i'm looking at five people to mentor where we're going to show you exactly how to excel in this business model and so if you're interested click the first link in the description below fill out the form and if you qualify we'll end up talking on the phone and if it doesn't make sense for you at least you'll know a lot more about the solar industry than you do now and if it does make sense, you'll end up making a ton of money in solar. And how we do that is we do that with a four-step process. And if you qualify on the call, I'll tell you exactly what that process is. And we teach you the best ways to generate leads in solar. We give you five different ways to do that. We actually teach you how to fish. So we show you all the methods possible and how to generate leads 
without leaving your home. We'll also show you how to set appointments and close deals entirely over the phone, not even showing up on a Zoom call. Everything is over the phone. And the last thing we're gonna show you is the best markets to sell solar in and what are the best EPCs or installers to partner up with so that you can get paid the fastest and you also get to serve all of your customers at the highest level. So if this sounds interesting, click the link below, fill out the form, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.